Hi, Lucy Ross here from eCommerce Marketing. I'm going to show you how to get all of your images to line up uh, on the page so they're not all over the show like this. You want them to be nice and flat and even like these ones. And the easiest way to do that is going to be making them all a square uh, size, so the same, the same width as they are height. Uh, and it, it just makes things easier for managing your images. So let's do an example of this. Um, the only issue with making things square is if your original image is too small, you're still going to have an issue like this. But when you have nice big images, it's actually really easy to manage. So we'll take these four products and we want to make them all square. And we're going to use a free software called GIMP, which you can find at GIMP.org and download for free. And it's basically a free version of uh, Photoshop. You just download it there. So let's jump down to um, our images that we want to use. So we'll come here and go copy image and we'll come to GIMP. So open GIMP up on your website and press Control V or file, um, sorry, edit, paste to get that image in there. And we can see that it is 600 pixels wide by 450 tall. So we want to take the longest side which is 600 and make it a square so we will go 600 by 600 and then we will come here and go control copy and control v so control c to copy it and control v to paste it and now we have an image with the same size sides as it so it's as tall as it is wide you can also use this little magic wand tool here to cut out uh, background colors so if you didn't want to have that sort of gray color in the background um, and it just makes your images look like they're nice and clean and white you just cut around with those and when we're ready to save that we can go Control shift e and we want to give it the same name as it has on the website. So we'll go Control C to copy that and then come back to our image and press Control V to put that in there and save. And we're going to do the same for our other images as well. So we'll close that and we will come to this one and press right click or right click and copy image. Control V to paste it in. We're going to go image, auto crop image, and that's just going to make sure we're really tight to the edges and we can see the widest point is 600. So we'll go new 600 times 600. Click on it, control C, control V, control shift E, and we're ready to rename it. And we'll paste control V to paste that product name in there. And we'll come to the next one. Which will go right click and copy. We'll come in here and close those two older ones down. Press Control V, image, auto crop. We can see 600 is the widest point, so we'll go new, 600, Control C, Control V, Control Shift E. We'll go back to the page and copy that, and then go back and Control. V to save it and the last one copy image let's close both of those control V image auto crop 558 is the tallest so 558 control C control V and we're going to call that the same name and just giving them the same name as the product means if people are using Google Images to search and you've named your photos after a keyword or a product rather than just a generic uh, array of numbers, it's going to be much more likely to show up and you're going to start to get traffic through image search. So now we have all of our square and uniform images, we need to upload them into Shopify. So I'm going to come into the product list in Shopify and find each of those particular products. So here we go up the bouquet. We'll start with that one. We'll click on it and scroll down to where the images are. And then we want to add an image uh, from our website um, to which I don't know where I've actually put mine. Where are they? Right there. So I'm just going to uh, drag and drop them in there. Um, so I can put that in there 
we need to delete the old one so it doesn't show up uh, in place of it and then press save so we'll go press the rubbish bin delete that and press save and then we'll move on to the next the product list find that scroll down till we see that add images I'll just drag and drop it in and it'll take a few seconds to load and we'll go and delete the old one and press save and then back to product list and we're going to not sure what happened there a video just started playing on my computer anyway uh, moving on to water box of flowers we'll just go and find that one drag and drop that across and wait for it to load delete the old one press save and last but not least we want to go and find the roses uh, make sure we find the right picture one there scroll down cool save that and in theory if we go back to the home page now all of these images here should format nice and evenly and as you can see here they were all in line and all on a square shape and format nicely and they still look really nice and big on the page here um, in a square format so that's how you get your image aspect ratio to be the same for all your products and optimize them using GIMP uh, this is really important if you're putting images up it's just going to keep everything really tidy and remember that little tip of naming them after the product so they appear in image search if you need any help with customizing your Shopify website anything with design or with help converting it to get more customers and more sales then please visit our website you can find us at ecommercemarketing.co.nz thanks